Philippines dating, knight in shining armor. In this video, I'll take a look at what possesses some men to start dating a Filipina with the idea that he will be her knight in shining armor and save her from poverty and a hard life. Often these type of men make the Filipinas' life much harder than it was before they even came into the picture. This is something that many guys new to dating a Filipina can fall into, which can have devastating effects to the Filipina. Looking to date a Filipina or already dating or married to a Filipina? I use my experiences around my relationship with my Filipina wife of six years as well as my professional experience as a qualified relationship counsellor for over the past 10 years. Are you after resources, tips and information for a successful relationship with your Filipina and to maintain it well into the future? No problems, just take a moment to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all our future videos. And I promise you'll never miss out again. It's easy to meet a beautiful Filipina who may have a rather difficult life by Western standards and feel sorry for her and want to change her life well before you even get to know her properly. And many well-intentioned men can fall easily into this trap. Of course, when we go to the Philippines, we can be in some shock initially as to the way your new Filipina girlfriend may be living. She may be living in what I would call substandard housing or possibly even in a small, old and dilapidated boarding house in a tiny room. I know this feeling personally of going to meet my Filipina girlfriend and seeing for myself the tiny room with a very old boarding house that in my country would be condemned and destroyed. Clearly where she was living in 2013 was a dangerous fire hazard and I was shocked at how her sister and her could live in such a small and hot space. While I wanted better for her I also needed to take a step back and really think about things and I encourage everyone to do the same. It's easy for us to say due to the emotion that you'll look after her and you'll move her into a nice apartment or house and that she doesn't need to work in her job as she's been doing for several years working 12 hours a day for what we would consider a very little money. As much as we may want a better life for our new girlfriend we don't know how long this relationship will last. No one ever does but if we have just met the girl for the first time we really can't be sure on the relationship at this time. I've seen many times where well-intentioned guys rush to the Filipinas aid which shows how compassionate and soft these guys are which is a really good trait to have in this day and age. But these guys really need to slow down and think through the consequences of offering to look after a Filipina at this early stage of a relationship. When I first met my wife in 2013, I was shocked at how hard she would have to work. 12 hour days, 7 days a week and a 24 hour shift every fortnight. All for around 12,000 pesos a month or what was around 300 Australian dollars a month at that time. To me, that was taking advantage of her. She would be working close on 400 hours per month or almost a hundred hours per week for such little money. My initial thoughts because I did care for her was for her to stop working and I'll be able to send her three hundred dollars a month. And if I move her into a nice apartment that may cost another couple of hundred dollars a month. But could I afford five hundred dollars a month? Probably not. But that aside one needs to think about what the Filipina will lose if she doesn't have her job anymore and is relying on you totally for financial support. Remember, early in the relationship you don't really know her very well and certainly you don't know if you'll be still together next week. Now if things don't work out, look at what can happen to the Filipina in this situation. You come in as the knight in shining armor, albeit well-intentioned, who thinks he's going to do the right thing by the Filipina, moves her into a nice clean safe apartment that may cost around eight or ten thousand pesos a month and sends her a further twelve thousand pesos a month for her wage to live on. So she doesn't need to have to work for what a man believes is a substandard wage. The Filipina may be very grateful to the man and be very happy but 
right now she is more vulnerable and fragile than she's been her entire life. She's now at your mercy. She's totally reliant for you on everything. With this new place that you've moved her into, it may have a 6 or 12 month contract. What happens to the Filipina should you decide in a month or even a year that you don't want that relationship anymore? Where does that leave the Filipina who put all her trust in you and naively believed you would be looking after her forever? And yes guys, many Filipinas can be very naive around this and is certainly something not to be taken lightly. If you pull out of this agreement and stop dating her and supporting her, all of a sudden she has no job and no way to pay her rent, buy her food or anything else. She's gone from being an independent and proud woman to one that has far more worries in life in what is already a very tough country to live in. So guys, before you race in to be her knight in shining armour, think very hard. If she's working, no matter what job she has, she'll be proud that she can support herself, so leave her be. You can always send a few thousand pesos monthly to give her a small hand, but you can't offer her a different life forever because that sort of commitment is unrealistic at this early time of the relationship. If you're really starting to care for this Filipina, then do not make such promises just because you're feeling shocked at how you see her circumstances to be because she has far more to lose than you do if you walk away at any time. These feelings you may have are your own feelings and not hers. Remember she was fine and doing well long before you came into her life so don't destroy her life and make it much harder than it needs to be even if it's well intentioned as you may be. Support her, but don't own her. If she's reliant on you for everything, then you own her and you take away control from her and her own life, and that's not good for anyone. Be kind and caring to your Filipina. Help her with some things and allow the relationship to develop over time by slowly getting to know each other more. Both you, her, and the relationship will be thankful and benefit greatly by doing so. But remember guys, even though things may seem great at the start of the relationship, things don't always work out long term. If you want to find out more, then check out the card on screen now. Feel free to like and share the video, subscribe and press the bell icon for future videos. Thanks for watching, I appreciate all your support, take care and bye for now.